Okay, hello. Uh, this is 3ds Max Basics redone. My name is Kathy Clips. Uh, if you've downloaded my previous tutorials, uh, you see that the video was laggy and there was no voice. I had a few requests, uh, request, um, that they wanted to be done with voice so that they could be understood. Sorry about that. Um, so let's start. Uh, open up a new version of 3ds Max. Um, I happen to be using 3ds Max 8. Doesn't matter which version. You pretty much get the gist. Um, just a few little marks you might want to do. Um, this is uh, perspective. If you hold down the middle mouse button and Alt and you drag, you get a lot more uh, visibility rotation wise. Um, if you also just hold the middle mouse button, it'll just do this. Um, most of the times, like uh, if you use this, it maximizes the current viewport you have selected. Um, by pressing P, you'll get perspective. Uh, front is F, and then top is T. Same for all of the normal viewports, just the first letter of it. Um, except for B is back or bottom. Sometimes you have to just go here and then to back. Um, that's about it. Um, if you go ahead and just zoom in, press Z and it'll do this. Um, let's start off by creating a box, simple box. A pretty tall one. There you go. You you've got your box. Or you can press delete and you can go into box keyboard entry and these are your XYZ coordinates which means where in your 3ds max world do you want it to be placed and here is what you want to type in so let's make this about uh, 250 by 250 by about 150 and there's our box good. Um, if you're more of an organized person, you can change the name and the color here, so we can just name this so, like base if we're going to add this. So what you would do first of all was, uh, one of the versions I was taught was boolean. So you can do this. Go to the top viewport, and you click here, you drag, and let go of the left mouse button and you drag up and, you, and if you notice the height button changes as I go up so you go up about that much and you can always change it later so go, press P again for perspective and you'll notice that the box is sticking outside and is a little bit seeping through the bottom you can fix that by pressing front F and then going to the move bar and selecting the Y axis and going up just a little bit. And then press P. And now press H for H, or you can press this for select by name. And you can press uh, base. Go to compound objects, Boolean. And there's a numerous things, a uh, number of things you can do here. Uh, union makes them one object. I wouldn't recommend doing this because you're going to get a lot of errors. You do this. That's not the proper way of doing it. You might want to properly integrate it by creating faces around it. Deleting the top uh, top face of the green box. Um, if you see what I just did, um, I press control Z. That's undo. It helps a lot if you're doing fast um, operations. So go back to boolean pick operand B and go to subtraction AB. If you notice now you have a hollow box. That's one of the ways you can make holes in your 3ds Max world without having to of course uh, disobey the open edge errors, open world. Um, another one is you want to go into the modifier stack and you want to go into the stat um, here, whatever it is and then select STL check and then 
you click on everything by default and then go check no errors now you have su successfully made a hollow box so you can go ahead and delete that let's create another box press Z and just a roughly you can uncheck auto grid and you can just make a rough box there right click convert to edible mesh go into polygon selection mode select the top face and delete it you can also do that by just pressing the delete key and now you can see that there's nothing there and if you go into STL check at this point you'll see that there are a lot oh. well normally you'll have uh, errors in a uh, tool because you've deleted the the faces of that but you want to go into modifier stack once again and add something called shell and you also go back and there's no errors this um, I've tried every time with tool and it's bypassed every time it's worked um, the shell the outer mount you can see it increases that and if you right click while you're still um, while you're dragging up it'll cancel the operation it's not a very good habit but sometimes you can do it and it'll work uh, inner mount you can see right click again and it cancels it let's just make this a little bit thicker there we go okay we can go to edible mesh convert to edible mesh and let's go to our front viewport and press Z. Z if you're wondering um, whatever subject you have selected and you press Z at that time uh, it will zoom in automatically in all viewports see now if you go into here press this button and they're kinda zoomed out a little bit in each one if you press Z and you'll see that all of them uh, are concentrated on this little green box so let's go into the front uh, the front viewport press this button once again click on the shapes button and click line um, another tool is snaps so you can click on this right click on this and select vertex oh that's not working hold on okay click on do that again click on this and click grid points therefore these are invisible grids so if you press G those grids go those are 3ds max grid so you can press that and you go here you click there click here 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 oh no I did that wrong um, if you press, if you right click, it'll cancel that and then leave that as that. Um, if you've ever taken geometry, you'll know that uh, two points make a line. So um, if you make two points on this, it'll stay that line. So we can just press that delete. And we'll go here, redo this really quick. here and here and then close your shape say yes close spleen and we'll go to the modifier stack once again we'll press extrude extrude about 200 you'll see that nothing happens but if you go into perspective to the perspective viewport you'll see that you'll see you have this uh, kind of weird shape so take off snap and move it so that it goes through the entire shape um, the point of this is that it goes through all the walls uh, whichever way you want it if you want it only a wall on this side then you can make it shorter and then have it just on that wall but for this we're going through both walls um, 